So I know these, a lot of them have been there, I've known Dave, what, 10 years now? Oh, yeah. yeah, a long time. Um, and it's been such a pleasure to be able to be working with them way more, really. They compliment me well because he's a teacher, I'm the ADD guy, you know what I mean? So I value their knowledge and, and, and stuff. And uh, I have a, even though I haven't known Danielle very long, it really resonates with me when I see somebody who really, really goes all in with the workouts. I don't mean financially, I mean physically. Uh, it's, I love seeing that stuff. So to our next speakers, we're doing extremely well. This is our first time ever even touching network marketing. So Danielle, David, come on up. Is 
What if something happens to me? What if I get hurt? What if I break my hand? What if, you know, I, that, that other side of me, that anxiety, like what's my backup plan? So for me, when I met Dave, and I started listening, and I started trusting him and believing in him, I started to see this bigger picture. So for me, I'm thinking of Now Lifestyle as in the future, and I'm gonna to continue to put all the money that I currently earned back into my business for like the next five years. So um, for me, it might be a little slower process because I knew nothing about network marketing. I grew up in a little tiny town in Sandy Creek, one horse town, I was always out in the woods. Dave kind of laughs when I go home because he's always like, well, redneck, what are we gonna get into today? It was tractor poles two weeks ago. <laughs> and I was the weight on the tractor. <laughs> my, my aunt and my uncle and a couple of my cousins, we actually had to add more weight because, you know. <laughs> anyway, so for me, when I looked, thought, at network, thought of network marketing, it was this fear, like, I know nothing about it. I didn't even have a computer growing up. So for me, this is all a learning process. So I'm, I continue to learn from him and everybody else every day. And so starting back, I mean, it was probably 2009 I bought my first course. And if you just look at that list, is it ready? Any of you that have been in marketing for a while, you probably recognize some of these names. It's like magnetic sponsoring. Um, what do we have? We got you know social media money system, empower network, butterfly marketing, dot com secrets, maximum leverage, click bank, JV2 products, affiliates. I was trying it all. Now I was learning the process coming, you know, from my education background as a teacher. I always thought, okay, I gotta learn the system, I gotta know it myself, I gotta know it all, and then I can then share that information with you know people that are on my list, which has become a benefit over time, but it just got to be too much. Okay, things kept going and going. And you know, as time went on, you realize that that struggle is real. You're gonna have failures along the way. And I was spending, you know, literally thousands of dollars to buy courses and memberships, but I still have the knowledge of it. There's still some things that I spent and bought years ago that I'm still pulling from that I can continue to use. And you may have heard this on some of the webinars, and Daniel kind of hinted it at the beginning of today about you know, the fact that you guys are, are positioning yourself. Any note that you take right now, it's basically like an uncashed check. You can come back five months from now or a year from now and open up that notebook and, and just take one little snippet and put it into a post. Take that post and then you know share it with your, your fan base or share it with your, your email list. And so that struggle is real, but we need to fail forward fast. Um, one of the books that I've been reading on the way down here, uh, it has 40 different, you know, like millionaire, billionaire people's actors, actresses, and stuff. And one of the main focuses for every single one of them is about that failure idea. Okay? Basically embrace failure. It's okay, it's a learning experience, and, and it gets us to the places where we are today. And so, oops. in that, some of the things, to make sure I'm on the right side here, my, my fat thumbs are going a little too fast here. Texting is a pain in the rear sometimes. But in the process, over those last, you know, seven, eight, nine years, some of the things that I would do and go through, and, and again, to try to get this out here, you know, I mentioned, uh, you know, the book, Last night it was FTU, Fly Time University. And when I was flying, instead of just putting the headphones on and listening to music or falling asleep, I was sitting there, you know, reading a book and trying to, you know, increase my knowledge base. When I drive, driving to work every day, back and forth, a library is your friend. A library is cheap, it's free for the most part. Um, another big place that my kids love going to because they like to pop tags is we go to the Salvation Army and the rescue mission because people quit and they get rid of their marketing books or someone possibly dies and they got rid of their marketing books. I've gotten a ton of knowledge just from that, like the library section of places like that. So I'm always having a, a CD or an audio in my car as I drive back and forth to work. So that I'm always in that mindset. Not saying that I don't listen to music, I don't love music and going to concerts and things like that, but it totally changes how you think. And I got rid of reading the newspaper. I, I don't hardly ever watch the news anymore because most of it is negative. It's just a lot of junk that's out there these days, which is unfortunate. So I practice and preach, you know, DTU. So there's, you know, part of my 
uh, collection of books. It's kind of hard to read some of the titles, but they're some of the main ones you guys have probably heard uh, in your growth. I blog, I, I write articles, and I, and I submitted things, and I, you know, the whole social media engagement. And, and in the beginning, some of the struggles were I was doing things for other purposes. Joel talked about you know, being a client. I came in as a client because I'm passionate about the sport of the cross. I'm a lacrosse coach. I played lacrosse my whole life. And you'll actually see a picture of that in a little bit. And so I had these things called the commandments of the cross that I would always give my players. And I wanted to turn it into something. So I would go to a tournament over the summer and I would start selling lacrosse related products. And I had that knowledge base, so I wanted to turn it into you know, something that I could work with. And so I started building a list a little bit for that. But then at the same time, I was also trying to learn how to use you know, magnetic attraction and you know, use stuff from those other courses. And I was often just sending links straight to somebody else's capture page instead of mine first. Okay? So that's another like, crucial thing that anytime you're going to send something somewhere, send it to your page first and then get the lead and then follow up with them on the back end. So that was a mistake. I was building somebody else's list for a lot of times instead of my own. Yeah, I was earning some commissions at the time, but again, it's one of those things. You, you live through it, you make a mistake, and you fail forward fast. And, and I continued to grow over the time. I, it was mostly free traffic, so if you guys have been in the back office, I have like an hour or two hour video in the Not Lifestyle back office just on free organic traffic, so check that out when you have a couple uh, hours of your own time. But I would dab a little bit in pay tra traffic. Again, it's that you know, too much month at the end of the money, I didn't have a lot of money, or, or maybe I just you know, racked up some credit cards to do some of that, and maybe I had some results, maybe I didn't. Again, the process is I refused to quit. And that's the key thing is that refusal to quit. And so one of the things that I picked up years ago that I love to this day is this uh, acronym TARL, T-A-R-L. Bob the Teacher Jenkins, so I thought it was kind of ironic that it was another teacher who actually has retired himself and is basically a full-time marketer to this day. But it stands for take action, revise later. Okay, take action, revise later. You can always go back and, and re-edit something. You can always go back and maybe delete a post or edit your posts. I love it on Facebook when I screw up, like I mentioned the fat thumbs and I'm trying to do it on my phone. There's an edit button. You can go back and you can edit your text. There's times where I've seen people over and over again, they might share a post, like they'll take Joel's post and they'll share it on their page, but they don't put their own link in there. They put your own link on Joel's post that you can share from your page. And put some comment on it. If, if Joel does something or, or says something or, or anyone, it doesn't have to just be Joel, you can take it from any marketing group that allows you to share, go in there and you can always edit it later. So some of you write, how many right now are thinking I've done that and I don't have my own link? Anybody? A couple? Okay. You can go back and do that still. You can just go through your thread and just click, there's like three little dots you can You can go back and you can edit that post, put your links in a lifestyle in there. Just tell people how they can get and, and test this stuff out for free. So you can always go back and we can edit. And I've done that multiple times. And so in the process, again, it wasn't just about failure. I did have some successes. And that's why I, I'm here today, because I kept seeing success. I knew that it was going to keep getting better and better. I know it might not have happened you know, that day or the next day or next week or month or year, but I knew it was going to happen. And things were really starting to grow these days. And so I actually published that across the I've actually published it a couple different times. I just I self-publish it through uh, you know a company through Amazon, and I've actually modified it a few times over the years and, and just edited you know tweak things. Maybe I didn't like that the formatting, but again, it's that whole idea of take action, revise later. My newest edition, I actually have a page on guess what? Now lifestyle, because I want to have those types of exercises for my athletes. Because when you're spending two hours of practice, you don't necessarily want to then go and hit the gym for another hour. Kids got to do their own thing and live their own life. But if they can go in there and hit one, two, three exercises in 15 minutes, then we can, you know, start changing the game and start changing the abilities of our players and our athletes. So I'm bringing it or trying to bring that lifestyle into that aspect. I am just again using the tools. Back in 2009, when I got GDO as a titanium member, I signed up because I wanted to build the cross website. That was one of my goals, and, and put that in there. And so even just the other day, I talked about now lifestyle and the protein and the uh, you know supplement line and the exercises to my lacrosse list. And so again, other people are going to be using these tools for, for other activities, not just for you know oh we have to run we're running a business and we're, we're doing marketing and just fitness. We can bring it into other areas as well. And and one of one of the key things is you have to start taking the action yourself. 
Like Dave, he takes action every day. He's constantly sending emails. And in the beginning, I had told him that I was going to make him do all of the <laughs> that type of work because I knew nothing about network marketing and, and all that stuff. But I see how hard he works, so I can't. I have to start taking my own action and start making my own emails and start and start sending broadcasts and start putting myself out there instead of hiding behind him. It's easy for me to do. It's easy for me to do, but um, I have to start owning my own actions and taking the action. So I'm learning from him, and uh, hopefully I'll I'll be really good network marketer soon. <laughs> One day at a time, keep growing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, those emails, I mean, it's great that Joel and the system follows up for us, but put your own voice in there. Let them get to know you. And yeah, it's great that they'll know Joel, but you know, they, they're going to work with you. They want to work with you guys. So one of the other things I did, uh, this is back in 2012, I actually won Russell Brunson's Dotcom Secrets X uh, trip, and we actually went to Kenya and went on safari, which we were kind of talking about safari this morning, actually at breakfast. And so, again, it was successes like this that just kept it in my, my mind where I'm like, okay, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. And I didn't quit. And that was the key thing. I did not quit. Now, is there anyone in the room today that just bought their ticket here within, like, the last week? Everyone's been here and, and ordered up, right? So, at, at the 2013 Pure Leverage event, it was like a week before I decided that I was going. And so all of you should have your little lanyards that have like a name that's printed. My lanyard was like an extra sticker that they like put on in the last minute because like they're like, all right, he's showing up. Let's okay, here, here's his name tag. So it's it's interesting because at that point I was sitting, you know, out there like 5, 10, 15, depending on whatever seat I could get in or what row I could get in, thinking, okay, I can do what the guy up on the stage is doing. And I hope every single one of you is thinking that same thing right now. All right? We are just like you guys. Some of us have just been doing it a little bit longer. Okay, I've been doing it a lot longer than her, so I'm a lot more comfortable sending emails, but she's starting to get more comfortable doing it. Okay, whether it's video. Some of you might rock me in videos. Okay, I'm nowhere close to trying to produce a video like JD did okay, in the beginning. But I, I tinker with it now and again. And so it's those things. You just keep taking action. You keep going. And, and kind of like the, the comment or the quote up there, ready, fire, aim. A lot of times we just need to get it, get started, and then we can figure it out as time goes on. As long as you know that it's a good system, like we have in our lifestyle, just get in, plug in, and keep taking action. And so, at about that same time, the next couple of years, I kept plugging along, working a lot, but then basically my life kind of crumbled a little bit. And I realized that there was too much going on, I had some personal issues going on, and I had to cut back for a while. And I hardly did any marketing for almost a year and a half, almost two years. And so you get to that point and you realize less is more. There's a lot of bells and whistles and you know, shiny balls out there. And when we started to, to hear about what was going on and what Joel was bringing to us, again, it, you know, the thing just kind of clicked. The, the wheel kept spinning again. And we see that we have this you know, new potential. And there's great growth. And, and when I knew what Pure Leverage had, I knew what G, uh, GBO had, and I knew what was going to be inside of this when it was melted together. It just—it was like, holy crap, this is awesome. And so, I like right away. I, I was right in. I, I said, Joel, you know, set me up. Like, like let's figure this out. I'm, I'm in, and I never I looked back. And so, I kind of just took off right from the beginning, back in January of 2017. And you mentioned the public launch was really in April, but we were doing some pre-launch stuff uh, right before that. And so, in that process, it's just you know. Simple things. It's relatively simple concepts. Being focused, being consistent. I help everyone. And so one of these things, you'll see at the end, I have a link. Some of you might have already had this. If you're on one of my lists, I, I provide like documents and guides. This one is like a 22 page, one's 20 pages, one's like 15, whatever. But it's basically step by step walking you through how to use the lead capture system. Because some people like to have something that's printed. Some people like to have something that they can read or follow step by step, just direction by direction. Yes, there's videos out there, but some people get confused looking at videos. So helping people has been an immense thing. Again, maybe that's the teacher in me. And maybe I go over the edge sometimes a little bit where it's too much versus, okay, just get in there and do it, play with it. Some people want to have their hand on it, and that's okay. So for those people that want that, there's that. If they just want to watch the video, here's this. 
But I, I've heard great things that you know people have printed that out and they just follow it step by step. I need my help, my hand help. Yeah. That's me. Walk me through step by step. But the other key thing is like in the group, it doesn't matter if, if someone's on my team or not, or if you're on someone else's team, help everybody. The more we help each other and the more our name gets out there, it's only gonna benefit all of us in the long run. Joel was talking about those commissions, you know, maybe dropping to fifteen dollars. But if we're now having thousands and thousands of more people, who cares if I'm making fifteen dollars less in one cycle if I've made five more cycles? Okay, you have to think about it a little bit differently. But over time you're gonna end up you know, helping people a little bit more and making more in the long run. Which, as Danielle said, one of the big things that I do as well is most of my commissions just go right back into traffic. And I buy a solo ad, or I buy the Facebook ads in the back office, or I buy the guaranteed signups. I'm constantly reinvesting back into the system, and it's just continuing to grow and continuing to grow. Some of the things that we should do, and again, I want to commend Danielle because you know, in the beginning, totally nervous, you know, shaky a little bit. When I first got back after we did the Cabo uh, experience, when she really first start, uh, started working out with me and doing those exercises, she was a little nervous. You know, just, it was just the two of us in my backyard. I was a lot nervous. <laughs> I, I wasn't a little nervous. <laughs> what are you talking about? She just looks great on screen. <laughs> no. I was like, oh my God, we're just, we're not going to edit it. We're just going to go with it. And he was like, yeah. Slam it up. I'm like, uh, okay. Okay, I guess. But, but if you notice, now she's posting videos all the time. Yeah. Right? A couple, well, I mean, like a week ago, it was a week ago, she just like randomly, she's like, all right, I'm gonna go do a live. And she did, it was only a minute long, but she did a live. And, and that's one up on me. I've never done a live yet, so. I, and I, I really <laughs> encourage you guys to, because like he said, the more we're sharing on our Facebook pages, the more we're promoting now life stuff, the more we're getting the word out. And just because, you know, they, that person might not exactly be in our direct downline, they're helping our company as a whole. So the more we're putting our name out there, whether we're you know getting direct benefit of that, it's indirectly benefiting us all. So I'm really trying to step up that as well and post more on my Facebook, take videos. I encourage all of you today, take a video, take your cell phone out, do a video of the, of the room, this, everything and be like i'm so excited to be at the now lifestyle convention first ever wow amazing just simple just get it out there because people will be like what's now lifestyle so and i encourage like, you to wear your your gear your shirts we we wore ours on a um alligator it was everybody to her <laughs> we and um so just get the name out there i encourage that too yeah, she said it was funny because like it was only a couple hours later and she said, oh my God, it has a thousand views. You never know which one is just going to take off. Okay? There's a lot of action in that group. There's a lot of silent, I think, I wouldn't call them stalkers necessarily, but, but there's, a, there's a lot of silent people in our Facebook group. Uh, the group that's here, you guys are probably the more active people, of course, and that's why you're here. My, my sister, are... my sister's one of those silent stalkers. I'm slowly going to convert my sister. She, she'll make it comment a little bit here and there, but. So yeah, I mean, get out there. Anything you can do that has benefited you and your learning, feel free to turn that into your own little training. Even if you go and watch some of the stuff that we do or some of the stuff that any of the other leaders do in their webinars, take that, again, it's like your own version of that uncast check. Take that information, make your own video out of it, and you guys will then become the leader. You, you have a crowd that's following you, all of my personal Facebook friends are not your personal Facebook friends. So you're going to reach a totally different group where they're going to see you and they're going to see what you're doing versus you pointing them to me. Okay? Make your voice heard. When you can, okay, ramp up your paid traffic. Again, even if it's just, you know, they, they've offered the, what I think the lowest is $25 for the 10 leads in the back office. Even if that's all you can do for the first month or, or once a month, do it. Start with your first 10 leads. Okay? You have to start somewhere. And then over time, you can incrementally grow. And again, kind of going back off of what I said earlier, I kind of got rid of cable. I got rid of you know the newspaper. I don't do any of that stuff. That's money saved in my pocket that I'd rather put into my business. Um, I just have something quick to add too. I have a, a really good friend who sells Nerium. Now, I for some reason I can't use Nerium because I can't get past the smell of it. But one interesting thing for the Nerium 
is when you see them share their stuff on Facebook, they have like all these people likes and comments, and I'm like, holy cow, like there must be a lot of people that are using Miriam because there's a lot of people commenting on her posts. So I encourage all of you to try to, not just in our direct Facebook, our, our Facebook page, because we're already now members of Now no Lifestyle, I mean, hopefully. But in our personal pages, if, you know, we can, I'm friends with, I think, 150, I'm friends with quite a few people on the now, that are now Lifestyle members, but just help comment, like a post. Say, oh, I took my fiber today. I think that we should all kind of ramp up the engagement on Facebook on our personal pages, because I see that a lot with Miriam. I see her posts, and then, in, in, because I'm such good friends with her, I'm like, all those people are Miriam reps. They're all under her, they all sell it too. When they're like, oh, I can't wait to hear more about it, or, you know, they, they're just engaging on her Facebook posts. So I, I feel like that that's a good way for us to increase and get people, pique their interest. Because if you see all the comments, you're like, oh, all those people are doing it. I must know that. I, I have to figure that out. I, I have to be a part of that too. So. How many of you actually took your fiber this morning? Boom! I like it. Us too. If I didn't take my fiber, I, I would be starving for sure after my breakfast at the hotel. <laughs> The bottom one here is probably the biggest thing that's, that's got me to this stage today, all right? And it's just that refusal to quit. Others do. People drop out. And okay, Joel said it was, what, 70, 80, whatever percent for GPS. Now it's down to, like, 40. People will continue to quit. And it's, it's like, if you've ever listened to the Jim Rohn CD, Building Your Marketing Business, if you haven't, get it. Um, but, like, he talks about all these different ways that people just kind of disappear. You know, the soil gets on, the rain gets on, the bird gets on, you know, the weeds get on. People will quit, they'll disappear. People will come in, they'll, they'll go all in, and then they'll, they'll, you'll look a week later and those commissions are gone. Like, well, they quit, I didn't realize I didn't want to do this. I'm like, well, well, what happened? And so, reaching out to them, of course, is, is crucial. But yeah, just refuse to quit. The fact that you guys are here today is, is a great accomplishment for yourself. And so, in addition, I you know, talked about celebrating successes before, continue to celebrate the success. And we started out the video celebrating the successes of everyone here that's made you know, some rating level that has made a commission. So, you know, again, hats off to everyone. And it's, it's different ways of getting to, to get that out there. And it doesn't matter what that success is. If you start to see non-personals, how many of you love non-personal online emails? Yeah, those things are awesome. And so, I mean, even just today, I haven't opened the computer to see who they were from, but I probably have like 40 or 50 of them in there, okay? And it's, a lot of times you start to see some recurring names, recognize those people, okay? One of the best persons that I see do it over and over again is Seth. Okay, Seb has a list of probably like 50 names every Monday, I think it is. And so he's recognizing and doing that all. And, and how many of you are on that list that Seb puts out? Okay, there's a few of them. Awesome. So again, it, it's recognizing people, whether it's making the leaderboard. I love it when I see other people on the leaderboard. Okay, Daniel does that a lot. He puts the little thumbs up, thumbs up, excuse me, the thumbs up or the thumbs out or whatever. With a little pointing at those names, people on his team that have made those leaderboards. Okay, so recognize. It doesn't matter if it's making commissions or ranks. Go ahead. I'm going to make it out on those leaderboards. One. <laughs> Every time I see one, I'm like, man, my name is not there. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. I get frustrated, but I'm going to turn that frustration into, like, I'm going to do it. And this one, even like making a video, I finally see Cynthia's back there. And, and that woman is amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance, I, I can't wait to speak to her. I can't to her yesterday. yesterday. But Cynthia is always putting herself out there. Okay, she's making videos, she's making posts. I'm getting downline emails from her. And again, it's those things that, like she said, if someone else makes a post, if it's a personal friend, take a second, like it, comment it, just do something. Because again, it, it continues to grow everything for us. And so we want to make sure in this whole process that, that we're also keeping our list members involved. Okay, send email daily. Now, I like to say I send it every day. Life happens. Okay, I like to maybe do it at least four times a week, maybe five times. I know some people like to do like a batch of six or seven and then they're good for the week. I kind of, at the spur of the moment, when it, when it strikes me, something will just pop in my head. And, and again, the, the, I guess the subject line for the other day was, or my last email was five years ago almost to the day. 
And it was five years ago where I was sitting in the crowd and, and I knew in my head that I could do just what they were doing up front and, and now here I am five years later. It's kind of cool up here. So. The other thing is we want to have fun. This, this is a lifestyle business. One of the key words on that main logo that we have in the banner is laugh. Okay? We want to enjoy ourselves. We don't want it to be stressed. Yeah, there's times where it's stressful. Maybe we didn't get something, or maybe, you know, leads quit, or, you know, they, they unsubscribe, and you know, who cares? What we find out, though, is that we're not having to focus on something that's not interested. At least we're pinpointing who we're actually focusing on. And so, we've been able to do a lot of traveling. We, we, we went on a, a cruise last year. We've gone, you know, go on, uh, we love to go on, like, brewery tours and whiskey tours. Because, again, you have to have fun, right? And so, I talked about playing lacrosse, and, and there I am playing lacrosse. There's, there's this seven children that we have between us. I have three, she has four. So it's like the Brady wow. Bunch. It's, it's like the Brady Bunch when we get together. That's what we say all the time when we see all seven of them together. We're like, wow. It's really funny because when, when we all have dinner, we're the ones that are standing, like, there's no place to sit around the table. We're like, I guess we'll just stand and eat. <laughs> so, I mean, we've been able to, you know, because of things like my lifestyle, we've been able to take them on little trips all together. And that, that's the big goal, to be able to keep doing that over and over and over again. And so, you know, my why, my future, you know, what's the passion and vision for me? Again, this, today's a little bit more about my story. Tomorrow we're going to hear again a little bit more about Danielle's. And so, again, going back to this, it's, it's my three daughters, of course, they're going to be my immediate thing that I have to take care of. Again, you know, I'm looking at colleges coming around the corner, you know, weddings, things like that, you know, insurance, all and so forth. But we also have this lovely woman up here that is, you know, taking advantage of the situation and now lifestyle, and she's ramped it up. And so my future with her is amazing. That was actually the trip she was talking about in the Everglades, looking at some alligators. And then again, just all of us. So getting the kids involved too, trying to get them active, go out for hikes and walks. There are not too many doing the workouts yet, but they're still a little bit young. But that's that's down the road. But they come to the they come to the weight room with us. That that's the key thing. Yeah, my kids probably right. more so than his. So they'll, when we're lifting weights the other day, they were down in the basement with us, and they, they wanted to get right in and do it, so that, that's fun. One of these days, right? And so, of course, why not lifestyle? Okay, why would we want to do this? Okay, why choose to be here today, right? And so there's a couple things, of course, and Joel kind of hit it on a little bit as well, whether it's you know health, whether it's wealth, whether it's personal, okay? My transformation, and, and Donna Lynn said she noticed it. It's hard for me to notice it. Um, but she said she noticed it from, you know, the meeting that we had in April at, uh, in New Hampshire. And so the, the picture on the left, the lighting is probably better on that picture. Um, but my picture on the left was probably from a year or a year and a half ago. It was before Now Lifestyle. The picture on the right was a couple months ago. But and that, that's not a current picture. That's actually more than a couple months ago. Well, it's well, yeah. The one and he, he's the one. lost even more weight. Since yeah, the then. idea is though that I've experienced some some physical changes. Okay, I take fiber every day. I take I'm, I pretty much do the protein every day. There's some days where I don't get it, but I do the fiber every single morning. We work out you know a few days a week, and, and again we're not because of our busy lifestyles we're not spending a lot of time there. The the people at the the front gate will kind of look at us funny when we check in, and it seems like five minutes later we're checking out, and it's like twenty minutes later. But if you all think I have hours to spend at the gym, working a full time job and being a single mother of four, and then also trying to have any type of relationship or communication with any of my friends, there's no way in hell that I have hours to spend at the gym. So it's been really great for us that we can go, we get into the gym. We're there for 15, 20 minutes. We see the same people on the treadmill as when we walked in the door as when we left. And I kind of always give myself a little high five because I'm like, I don't have to do that. So that's great. It's funny because some of those people on the treadmill have just skinny little legs. They don't have any muscle tone, so it's kind of like, I don't know what they're doing. But. On the wealth end, the numbers we can't see, but the teams keep growing. Again, the idea of getting on leaderboards, the commissions, you know, earning and, and ranking up, of course, I'm, I'm reaching towards that ruby. But my goal, of course, and the goal for everyone in here should be black diamond. Okay, that's where we all want to go. Right? We want to get to the top. And so my kids asked if we actually got a black diamond when we reached it. That, that was what they wanted to do. I don't think there's such a thing. I don't think we're going to do a black diamond. <laughs> yeah. That might be more of a blood diamond, but I don't know what that's. 
And again, just more travels, enjoying you know trips. We took all of our kids on down to Ocean City for a few nights. We went on the cruise. Again, that personal aspect of it as well. Just being able to enjoy, feeling good about yourself, putting on different clothes and feeling good about it. Going to the beach, she looked hot in a bikini. And so, you know, I'll speak for her that she didn't want to do it before. I'm like, girl, put that bikini on. I've put never that, worn that a old, bikini. You know, put that other bikini. There's never whatever. a picture. You will never see a picture of me in a bikini. Unless I leave. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I take, I mean, before the one picture oh, that I took, I did recently when we went to Miami, I let him take a picture of me and I was just like, I just that still that insecurity, but and so it, it's coming. One of the biggest things, it doesn't matter if you're one of my players on the cross field, one of my students in the classroom, one of my, you know, downline members or team members, upline members, doesn't matter. You get out of it what you put into it. Okay. It's the biggest thing that I've lived off of. It's one of my favorite quotes. I'll say a hundred times during the school year. You know, if you don't put any efforts in, you're not going to get anything. It's like the GPS member who, like Joel said, if they, they come in, and they're like, oh, well, why don't I get any commissions yet? What'd you do? Well, I showed up. I paid my 50 bucks. I want my money. So, massive action is the key. If you hear us a lot of times say massive and perfect action. It doesn't have to be perfect. Go back to that whole idea of Tarly. You can always come back and revise it later. So, we want to leave you, of course. Tomorrow she will be rocking the stage talking about a transformation. If you do want to get, if you haven't gotten a copy or you want to get that uh, printable guide, start-quick.com. You don't have to opt in, but I have all different videos there. And I have, again, printable guides. There's email swipe copies. If you guys want to borrow and get edit and use to your extent, just you might want to do a favor and change your username. Otherwise, I thank you very much for my new time when I sign ups. Again, we're all helping each other. We're a big family. We've become a big family, I feel like, um, especially with the interaction on Facebook and stuff. I, 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 I just, I, we love you all. And we're here to help everybody. So take our videos, take whatever. People ask me, can I share your post? Can I share your story? Absolutely. Share away. You don't have to ask. Thank you very much.